congratulations, Jack. It's 12.30 in the morning. It's August 24, 2019. I just arrived home from the coronation night of Mr. World 2019 at the Smart Araneta Coliseum in Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. I'd like to share to you some of my thoughts. Um, but first of all, congratulations to the newly crowned Mr. World 2019 rocket scientist Jack Castlewood of England. Finally, Jack can receive his trophy! for some of my personal favorites who did not make it. I'm going to mention just three. Of the first, um, Mr. Russia. I would have wanted him to make it to the top 12. Well, he made it to the top 29, but he did not make it to the top 12. Mr. Russia, Dennis Kadiko, is someone, is not someone who looks like Mr. Dennis Kadiko doesn't look like a person who would join a beauty pageant. Um, so if it was my choice, I would have included him in the, the top 12, you know, to, to uh, make it interesting and unique. But yeah, I understand we do not make someone win just to make a statement. So that's okay. A second would be... Uh, Mr. Kenya Kula Budi. Well, he made it to the top 29, but he did not make it to the top 12. In fact, in the top 12, there was only one candidate from the continent of Africa who made it to the top, top 12, and that's Fezile Makizile. I'm sorry, I'm sure I did not pronounce that right. The representative of South Africa who ended up as the first runner-up. Congratulations, by the way. I personally believe he was a very strong contender, a very, very strong contender, but he did not ev even make it to the top 12, so... Well, that's what the judges uh, thought. Third is Mr. Thailand, Anakinon Tipasit. He was one of the fan favorites. Um, the press members loved him. Uh, he speaks very well. Uh, his uh, looks was outstanding. Well, he wasn't as muscul muscular as the other 71, 71 candidates. I'm not sure if that was the reason why <laughs> he did not make it. He did not even make it to the top 29 um, but there were a lot of preliminary activities prior to the coronation night um, he himself acknowledged that so probably along the way um, he lacked I don't know points or scores from those preliminary activities that's why he did not even make it to the top 29 so after the coronation night after the announcement of the winners and and all that stuff, I personally approached Anakin Anantipresi to tell him that I felt bad that he did not make it. Um, yeah, of course, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm not going to share everything that he said <laughs> off cam. Um, but at least I made him feel that there is at least one person or there are people who believed that he would have won. Uh, he's a very smart kid, uh, speaks very well, and anyway, I asked 
asked uh, him to give the message to the people that supported him, and here is Anakin on the proceed of Mr. Thailand. Um, Mr. Thailand, everyone, and Nakin on the proceed. Hey guys, so as you can see, I, already, I did my best, I keep my best shot to everything. In the end, it's fine, and I want to say thank you again for all your support. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all your support, and thank you again. Thank you. Salamat! Thank you, Anakin. So that's Anaki Nunti Prasida of Thailand. I hope he joins other male beauty pageants in the future and eventually bring home a crown that he deserves. So this is Conan of Tatis of ConanDaily.com. Please visit my website. That's www.conandaily.com. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.